How's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to be playing some Sylvanas. Something. And uh, we are playing Sylvanas to, um, to kind of see how the new passive is. Here it is, uh, if you want to read it. But basically, whenever he uses an ability, it's going to place a seed pod. And then if Sylvanas picks up the build, uh, picks up the seed pod, he gets reduced cooldowns by 0.25 seconds, and he gets uh, mana back. And then at level 20, uh, the cooldown reduction is in, is one second, which is good. So here's my thoughts, because everyone's asking me, what are my thoughts on Sylvanas, right? Ooh, yeah, I think I'll go Bancrofts instead of Demonic. Uh, because since we're against Tsukuyomi, Aegis is great against Tsukuyomi. Um, I think that the old Sylvanas passive was kind of lackluster against ranged characters, right? Because it didn't even work. But I actually like the old Sylvanas passive against melee characters. It was really, really good. I, I've actually gotten so many kills or gotten away so many times because of it. And the new passive, um, I mean, let's see. So if I use an ability, like, where's the seed pod? <laughs> uh, yeah, like, I don't, I don't know how it worked. <laughs> I've yet to, this is my first game with it, and I, I thought it would be like a visual on the ground. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Like, the new Sylvanas passive, based on how it sounds, I think it's it's good once you get to level 20. I think until then, it's lackluster. But that's just from me hearing it. Yeah, I don't see any seed pods. And that's like, obviously, uh... Okay, I guess I picked it up. Or that was just it. <laughs> Appearing. I've heard when you use the three, it just kind of pops up at the end of the pool. Oh, damn it. I thought I could steal that because of mannequins or secure it. That's all right. I don't know. All right, he's, he's doing Tsukiyomi things. So I'm just gonna hold on. I'm just gonna throw this down, and I'm gonna stay back a little bit. I'm gonna use my two. Yeah. So see that little thing next to it? I guess that was the seed pod. Question mark. Let's see if I use my three. Yeah. Yeah. That's the seed pod. And see, I get a little bit of mana and cooldowns back. Okay. <laughs> Interesting, I guess. Does it not work with my two in duel? Are deployed a seed pod appears. Oh, maybe I, it's only going to make the seed pod hit when I use my two on him. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to see how this works right now. Yeah, so I can pick that up. Okay. That's cool. Again, I don't think it's very helpful until we get to level 20. Because 0.25 seconds, that's nothing. That's nothing when Sylvanas' cooldowns are really long. If Sylvanas had really short cooldowns, that could actually be pretty important, right? Like, let's say if that was for Kuzumbo. And Kuzumbo could reset his 2 faster, which would reset his 1 and 3 faster, which would let him get more seed pot. You know what I mean? Like, that would actually be insane. But for Sylvanas, I mean... I don't really see it right now. I don't really see it like being very good. Also, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the game, I placed this uh, plant here because you can actually use it through the wall. Kind of, kind of nice. As far as I can tell, I don't get it from my two, or it's placing me it right on me, uh, which means I get it right away. I can't really tell. And I assume when I use my two next to him, that's when I will actually place a seed pod. Ow. He's probably going Bumba's Hammer, by the way. Late game, Tsukuyomi with Bumba's Hammer is one of the better characters with Bumba's. So, that'll be pretty tough. Also, I'm low enough that he could probably almost kill me. So, we're going to back up a little bit. Red buff's coming up. He's kind of poking me out, though. Let's 
I've been so focused on passive this game, I haven't really been fighting him. So let's try to focus more on the game now. Now that I see how the passive works for the most part. I've yet to actually use my two on him because we haven't gotten close enough. I thought I could steal it again with mannequins. Fun little trick with Savannah's. If you aim at the floor and then flick your camera up, you can actually shoot over walls. And that's why I was doing there. Like normally you can't shoot over walls, but if you go like that, you can you can do that. It, I've gotten a couple of kills like that. It's not very helpful unless you're going damage Savannah's, but you know. Can I get a pull here? Oh, I was gonna try to alt. I was not fast enough on my ages. All right, all right. Let's get a uh, breastplate. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't know how to feel about the passive right now. It feels useless. It feels useless currently. Uh, I've been told that some people are like, oh, it changes how we play Solana. So it does not seem like it right now. Maybe in other game modes. I mean, look at that. I've got three seed pods lined up. If they stay forever... It doesn't say whether they do or not, but if they stay forever and you can just stack them up. No, they disappeared. Okay. <laughs> doesn't say. All right. Like I was hoping I could stack them up and then just do some bunch of them, but I guess not. Pick that up. We're close to killing him right now. But he's poking us a lot. Okay. Wombo combo. Good, good, good. All right, how's the work? The game is pretty much perfectly even right now, so that's good. I do think Sylvanas can beat Sugiyomi, but it's kind of annoying with all the ranged autos he has. A little fun fact, but I guess it doesn't work anymore, is that Sugiyomi's autos that he throws out, they could actually trigger uh, Sylvanas' passive, the, the old Sylvanas' passive, and he would get rooted by it. Even though they're ranged autos. Because I guess Tsukuyomi, the autos count behind the scenes as melee autos. Which means that he can also use stone cutting and stuff like that. Whereas, let's say Horus. Horus's one can't use stone cutting. It's really weird. I find stuff like that it's my interesting. But it's it's more just like inconsistencies that are kind of frustrating. <laughs> like Horus's one and Tsukuyomi's range autos should be the exact same in my opinion. I guess it's intentional. I'm taking damage. So is he. Yeah, you should go some sort of attack speed first on Svoss to get my autos out faster. But uh, I think I just need more power here. Which is why I opted for the Bancrofts. Uh, I can kill him here if I root him. I might have not even needed the alt, but there we go. Like, I think if the seed pots were like 0.5 seconds, it would be nice, but the 0.25 really doesn't help that much. And the mana is so little that it's it's so weird to give a god like a, a passive where he gets mana back when his one already gives so much mana back just by standing in the flower range. You know what I mean? That's That's how I feel about it. I, I'm hoping when I get to level 20, it'll be so much more useful, right? Like, maybe I'll try something like a Bumba's Sylvanas, and we could get a ton of cooldown resets with it. Ooh, that sounds fun. I'll do that next time. Or try to. Game through the early game without mannequins would be very difficult. Uh, we are going to get some attack speed now. And we're going to get, I think, a Blink. Yeah, I think a, a Blink or a Sunder. Actually, Sunder. Tsukuyomi is a melee character, so getting close to him isn't that difficult. If I was against a ranged character, I would go Blink. So I think uh, Sunder, because he went Shell, it's also. And just to kind of counter that. And just extra damage from my combo. 
Because all I have to do is hit my one, and then I guarantee get the combo, or he has to counter off. I couldn't throw my one there because I was hovering over the wall on accident. Okay, okay. I've still yet to use my two on him because I'm using it so much for healing with this poke. <laughs> I don't think I've used it on him yet anyways. There, I finally used it on him. It did place down a pot. Okay, cool. So good to know. For Now, what I'm wondering is if you use your two in a team fight, right? Like, here's where it would matter. Like, let's say Conquest or Arena, and you're in the middle of all your teammates and all your the enemies. Does it place it at allies? Because if it places at allies and it places one at every single enemy, that's pretty, that's pretty insane. And then also with the ultimate. So this is definitely not a dual passive. That's that's how I should be thinking of it. it it's definitely a, a passive where you're hitting multiple enemies with uh, multiple abilities, right? Like if I hit my two on five gods and then hit my ultimate on five gods, hit my one on three, like that's a lot of seed pots. In fact, I get my entire combo back again. Not to mention, I think it lowers the ultimate as well, which Bumpus Hammer does not. Seed pods really don't last long, though. We don't see it appear to. He has Pestilence, so we're not going to do too much damage. Mannequins does physical damage, though, so kind of... I think Mannequins is kind of broken, but <laughs> when I'm playing Sylvanas, I don't mind going it. Uh, his range is, is in that, that, like, Goldilocks zone where it's really annoying to deal with. Wow, I could have killed him. Let's pick up the seed pod. I do have Aegis. So if he alts, I want him to hit me with one beam and then I'll Aegis the rest. Or he can just back. That's fine with me too. This is a weird game. This is a weird game. I just really want to get to level 20 to see if that would be more impactful in a dual setting. Okay, we got that. Um, I probably want Spear of the Magus. Spear of the Magus is insane on Savannah's because it's increasing my auto damage, it's increasing my ability damage, and you know, it's gonna apply on my two and my ultimate like right away, and then the rest of my damage will be amplified. So it's good. It's good. Plus a little bit more life still. Never never hurts. Okay. He's probably going to go with Brawlers next, which is fine. I'm not actually healing that much right now. Why did he go back? Did he miss one minion? Or he thought I was going for Demon King? Uh, it's so annoying to try to maneuver over the, the attacks on the ground, you know? Yeah, that's really annoying. I, I hate being slowed over and over and over again. Uh, fighting Tsukiyomi is a lot more fun when you have a leap. <laughs> like, if I could leap over there and get next to him, you know what I mean? It's a lot more fun. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not in range of that. I'm actually going to opt for upgrading Asunder early because... I'm starting to feel like the only times I'm going to kill him is when I just go for it, you know? Uh, let's see if I can kill this first, and then we'll go for the wave. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay. Do you have brawlers yet, good sir? You do. 
This is definitely going to the late game, which is not good for me because of Bumba's hammer, but maybe it would be better because of the passive, spawns passive. There we go. Yeah, I do that a lot against Tsukuyomi, where I purposely let him hit one beam, and then that'll teleport him to me under the tower, and then I Aegis the rest. And that just, you know, gets him in position for me. I do take a little bit of damage, but then I can kill him. <clears throat> one thing you can do against Tsukuyomi is if you're fast enough on the Aegis, you can actually Aegis every beam and he won't teleport to you. Um, but the problem with that is you have to have good reactions, and sometimes I'm terrible at that. And if you mess it up, you know, then you're going to take a huge amount of damage. Sometimes it's safer to just Aegis the beams after he teleports also. But then you take that initial damage. Just kind of a... Whoops, wrong item. Just kind of have to weigh your options, I guess. I'm trying to drink a lot of water right now because I feel so dehydrated and I don't know why. Alright, you got my tower, which sucks because I'm 3 and 1. And I kind of need that. Oh, that poke is so annoying. I hate Tsukiyomi poke so much. It's so safe. It's such safe poke. It's so easy to hit. Yeah, I can't do anything about this th this time. In fact, I'm dead. No. <sighs> I, I don't like this passive so far. I really don't. Like, if I had my old Samaz passive, I could have rooted in there and gotten away. I'm not a big fan of this in a dual setting. And maybe in other game modes, it's nice. But uh, this feels like kind of a nerf to to my dual Savannah so far. Of course, when I'm against a, a ranged character, it'll be better. But uh, it's better than nothing. But in this situation, uh, yeah, I could have maybe gotten away there. So I'm really not loving it so far. And the seed pods don't even stay for long, so you can't even, like, have them add up. And then with the three, it plants the seed at the very end of it, so it's not even close to you. And then with the two, it doesn't you only get the seed pod unless you hit an enemy or not, or I hope maybe an ally. I don't even know. Uh, so it just feels it just feels very lackluster. It looks like he's getting Heartseeker or something. Oh, I hate the poke from Sukiyomi so much. He just stays perfectly out of my range and then hits me like four things. I'm already half health. Have to give up. Uh, have to give that up. Your middle phoenix has been destroyed. The range on Sukuyomi, like how he get, he's able to just keep poking me with that stuff without even being in range of my autos. Or, like, maybe I can hit him with one auto, but he hits me with, like, four things. Uh, makes this really difficult. And then when he commits to actually fighting me, I, I'm poked out to half health, and he's still full health. Because I'm actually not actually able to hit him. Hmm. Well, I'm about to get to level 20. I don't... Hidden Blade, by the way. Uh, we're not going Hidden Blade. Because even though Hidden Blade does a ton of damage, he is able to hit me before I hit him every time. So Hidden Blade would be kind of useless here. He's got his Heart Seeker. I assume Bumpus Hammer is next. At least he didn't save for Bumpus Hammer. That would be bad for me. I'm not going to ult because that wouldn't actually kill him. He would just run away. If he gets any closer, I might ult. Maybe a wing blade would be worth against Tsukiyomi. It gives magical protections, though. So the stats really aren't great against Tsukiyomi, but 
just having that ability to, when he slows me, to just run up next to him, you know? All right, let's see. So if I place that, I got one second back now. Okay, one second back's a lot better. I would like to try to get max cooldown, but we're 20% away. With blue buff, we have 30% right now. I feel very much off my game right now. Hikate is okay uh, against Tsukuyomi. I don't think it's better than Telekines here. We kind of just have to stay back in Titan for now. Like if we fight outside of Titan, he could kill us so fast. And even with my double Sunder, I don't know if I could take him. All right, he's getting, he got blue stone? Oh, Tsukuyomi, you waited this entire game and you didn't get Bumbas? What the heck? All right. Okay, uh, I actually was worried this was a loss, but now I actually don't feel like it's a loss. Because Tsukuyomi with Bumbas hammer, he can, his cooldowns are super short and his auto attacks are ranged, so he can just weave them in between his abilities super easily. And he actually doesn't have cooldowns when he does that. But since he went bluestone, um, yeah, no, I actually feel like we've got a chance. I don't know how good that chance is, but we'll see. He took Demon King. I'll just push He's right behind us. I should have just that. That's all right. No, get out of the... Oh, We have a lot of damage. We have a lot of damage, but uh, unfortunately, so does he. Oh, that Thorns did 577. No, maybe... Actually, okay, if I could sell something for Wingblade, maybe if it's a Spear of the Mage, Spear Mages. Wingblade, it would give me some protections for the Thorns, so it's not completely useless. Plus, I think the movement speed is actually so important here. You guys will rarely see me do this getting wing blade against a physical god but with this wing blade he would have a hard time poking me without me being able to speed up right next to him and then poke him as well or just to run away so yeah i'm gonna opt for that um i think he will get to red buff before i do so I'm, we'll just take our blue buff for the 30 percent cooldown yeah let's see maybe maybe this will work unfortunately it does give us more health against his heart seeker but that's okay, and his blue stone of, uh, as well. All right, I use wing blade. And I just run away. Yeah, that wing blade just saved me right there. That wing blade saved me. Oh, he does a lot of damage though. He does a lot of damage. All right, let's get this. We have max cooldown with power potion. This game's going into this, the ultra late game. Okay. Oh, he can poke out of Phoenix range. I forgot about that. Try and body block him. Pick up my seed pod. Hey, there we go. That seed pod actually helped a ton there. Okay, the one second's kind of nice. One second's kind of nice. So once we get to level 20, I mean... Not to mention late game, if I'm spamming my abilities, I can get my heal super fast, which is kind of helpful. It's kind of weird to do it, to spam your abilities with nothing's here, but... Oh, my minions are all the way over there. Whoops. Can't really take Phoenix without them, which is unfortunate. And he's already alive, so let's go back. Okay, so so using the abilities... Let's get Chalice and stuff, just so that we don't have to keep buying wards and potions and all that, because we're getting to the ultra late game. But yeah, using my abilities kind of like Outpawash in the late game, 
where if he disengages, I just bam the hell out of my abilities to get my heal super fast. It kind of makes sense. That's good. In the early game, it's not going to make much of a difference. I'll just run out of mana. But late game, no, I won't. And even though the seed pods give mana back, I don't think they give enough back to make it worth it until late game. This is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. I don't know why I used my two there. I'm already full health. I'm trying to kind of dodge his abilities. It's all to cancel that. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Okay. And then now I can just spam my abilities to get my heal. Maybe let's try to damage just a little bit. Oh, I just placed my seed pod where I can't even get it. <laughs> it's weird. It's a weird passive that... I kind of vibe with it at level 20. Because I can just, just bad my abilities and run away at the same time. And get back to full health slowly. Because again, the seed pod's not healing me, but it gives me back by two faster, which does heal me. <laughs> oh, that's so ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. You got some rated edge, alright. Uh, we should refresh our power potion, I think, and then we'll go and place more wards and stuff. The downside to having two chalices, like how I do right now, is I can't get sentries. But, eh, I don't think it's too important right now. He's not even placing sentries anyways. If he was, then maybe I would have to worry about it. Thank goodness he didn't get Bumpus Hammer. <laughs> That's all I can say. Thank goodness. Yeah, Savannah's with Bumpus Hammer. If you, I don't know why he took that. He's on the defense right now. I don't think that helps him too much, but oh well. Savannah's with Bumpus Hammer would be interesting, but I don't know how you would survive the early game. If I place all these pods, too, if he kills them, he gets his protections reduced. So having a bunch of them built up isn't a terrible idea, at least until we get to the max. Age is too early again. That's okay. And that's game, dude! Okay, I should have been using my potions. That's all right. <laughs> okay, I will say this game probably not the best because I made a lot of mistakes, but it was a close game. It was a close game, and that makes it entertaining. Um, in the early game, I kind of was trying to figure out how the passive works. So, okay, final conclusion. Final conclusion because I keep getting asked about Smash passive. I think in the early game, it's pretty useless. In duel. I'm talking duel specifically. Up until level 20, it does not feel very impactful. At level 20, it's pretty nice. I'm not going to say it's better than the old passive against melee gods. Against range gods, it's definitely better because it's better than nothing. But uh, yeah, once you get to level 20, you can kind of just start spamming your abilities, which gives you your heal more, which means they can't outpoke you, which is really good. So I think that makes it kind of good. And then not to mention, after you use your entire combo, your, like your 1, 2, 3, 4, there's going to be 4 seed pods that you can just pick up right away. And that'll help you get your abilities faster, which helps you get more seed pods. So you almost have that snowball effect of like that Kuzumbo has with his Nene's and 3 and his 2 with Bumpus Hammer. But it's not quite there. I will attempt to get a Bumpus Hammer Savant's game, but getting through the early game will be super difficult because he relies on mannequins so much. So, yeah, that's my conclusion on new Savannah's passive. I hope you guys have had been having fun with it. 
Uh, if, you, if you happen to know if it places a seed pod at a teammate when you use your heal, let me know because that would make me think it's super good in other game modes. Because then you could all group up, use your two, get four seconds back under cooldowns. You place your one, get another second back, and then use your two again. <laughs> so you could infinitely heal your team with that. So something makes me doubt that it does that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.